Hello and welcome. My name is Brian Kaplan, editor of The Banker. I'm here with Stephanie Linhart, who's the European editor, and we're discussing the upcoming uh, annual meeting of the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Now, Steph, the meeting's going to be in Tbilisi in Georgia. What do you expect the main issue of discussion to be this year? Well, this year the, the topic is called Investment for Change or Investing for Change, and um, the idea is to go more into the micro level to, give, to look at the companies rather than the country as a whole. So we want to try and prevent the brain drain from the Eastern European countries uh, into the Western European world right. uh, or Western world. Because this is something quite interesting because obviously in the UK and the other Western European countries we hear a lot about the brain drain in rather negative terms sometimes yeah. um, but we don't think very much about what the impact is on, on the country where people are leaving and it clearly it does have yeah. serious repercussions doesn't it from an economic point of it view. It does have a massive impact because if you do have innovation in your own country you don't need to import as much, you don't need to rely as much on other countries, it will help your economy grow. Okay. Now, obviously, uh, Russia is a very sort of big country in your region, mm -hmm. and you've just visited there recently. Uh, I mean, what's going to be the status of, uh, of Russia at the EBRD meetings this year? We don't really expect to see that much of Russia. Last year, they had a country event. This year, they have sort of dropped off the radar a little bit because the EBRD has decided not to invest any more money in Russia. And why is that? Uh, that is partly related to the sanctions. This was last year when um, the decision was being made that there was not going to be any new investment. All right. And you've actually spoken to the central bank governor. So what's yeah. been her response to the economic crisis facing Russia, partly because of the sanctions and also most particularly because of the falls in the oil price? Yes. So Elvira Nabiolina, um, she... Uh, was saying that it was very much related to the oil price. They they had this big crisis in December, January. The ruble was plunging drastically. Um, they did come up with a very strong interest rate hike to try and prevent um, the ruble from falling any further. Yeah. Falling and, she, any further. and she's reasonably you know, optimistic about the future, I think. Right? Yeah. So this year, there's no one expecting growth in the economy in Russia. Next year, some people do expect some growth to come back. The best, uh, I think the most positive uh, that I've heard was 2%. Okay. Um, but most people don't expect growth next year either, but the year after. Okay. And finally, let's talk about Cyprus and Greece, because those two countries are founding members of the EBRD, mm -hmm. and they've obviously had their own economic problems over the last uh, couple of years. So what's changing with them and their relationship with the Development Bank? Yeah, so Cyprus uh, last year received the uh, receiving uh, country status. That means um, they're now getting money from the EBRD right, rather than okay. contributing. Yep. And um, this has been going on for a year now. We've had one investment so far in the Bank of Cyprus. And Greece has only just asked, and they've only just been um, confirmed as a receiving country as well. And they are in discussions about a reform package or a package um, to then provide them with money until 2020. Okay. So a real change of fortunes in the EBRD region. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you.